welcome back to Arnez Productions. It's been a while since I've seen any content on this channel, so let's get on it, guys. Today, I'm going to show you a very viral cinnamon roll hack. You just take your normal canned cinnamon rolls, I guess, and you add heavy whipping cream. And they're supposed to taste like homemade cinnamon rolls, so let's get into it. So yeah, you're just gonna peel it off, doesn't pop in the beginning, you just, whoa! Okay, you have to make sure, oh yes, make sure to get the grand ones, and you're gonna need two cans of these. Did you wash your hands in advance? Wash your hands before you cook, always guys, even though you're just cooking for you and your husband. Wash. In case any of you guys were wondering, Cash and I live in Colorado, and this is our Airbnb for Cash's internship. We basically live in Aspen, Colorado. That's the most familiar to people, but it's called Basalt. It's like 30 minutes away. So yeah, you're gonna take your cinnamon rolls and you're gonna put them in here, like so. Make sure to keep this icing. Okay, next. So yeah, it should make is that weird? It should make 10 cinnamon rolls. Okay, so once you have this, oh my goodness, I forgot to do something very important. You're supposed to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So let me do that really quick. Usually you want to preheat it and then do this step, but I forgot. Anyways, so now you're gonna take your heavy whipping cream. Nobody knows the exact measurements. Whoa. I'm actually gonna shake it before I go. No one knows the exact measurements of this. I've seen people pour this in first and just coat the layer, coat their pan with one thin layer and then put their cinnamon rolls on top. Or I've seen people pour this and it's okay to get it on top of the cinnamon rolls. Basically, yeah, so you pour in your heavy whipping cream and then the cinnamon roll soaks it up when they're baking. It makes it, basically everyone's been saying, it makes your cinnamon roll all taste like the center. You know how the center's always like gushy and gooey and good and not hard like the outsides? That's what it's supposed to be. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And we're gonna put them in the oven. Just follow your directions on your canned cinnamon rolls. And they usually say to put them in for the full amount, so it says 23 to 27 minutes, and everyone says put them in for 27, because you added more moisture, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, time for a taste test. It's my taste test. Clear cinnamon roll. Our rankings here is gonna be one to 10, okay? Nothing above, nothing beneath. Yeah, that's good. What do you give it? I would say a solid nine and 10. Oh wait, 10, solid 10. <laughs> oh yeah, they're so good. And they were right. It all tastes like the center. Let's get a look inside of here. Maybe even 11, cause I like the center. It's so good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I already recorded this whole icing part, but I was going through my videos to edit and I realized that Cash took pictures instead of videos. Whoops. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell you what I did. So I took them out of the oven. I put them in for only 25. Well, I put, I put a timer for 27, but took them out of 25 because, yeah, just watch them. And then you just take the normal icing they give you, use a spoon, Put it on top while they're warm so it melts onto them. Um, I did see a girl who mixed their icing with powdered sugar and butter and vanilla to make more of it. 
because she said there's never enough, but I feel like that was the perfect amount. It covered them good. We ate two of, of them, obviously. He ate one, I ate one. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it sucked up all the heavy whipping cream and they all taste delicious, just like the center, and they're so good.